guys. Welcome back to Stay Loaded Trucking. Right now we're here in uh, at Winco in Woodburn, Oregon. We're about to deliver. We just got a door, door 154. It's 11.38 p.m. So let's just back up into our door and then do what we gotta do to deliver this load. All right, door 154 right here. Man, those new T680s are nice. Super nice. Here, we're gonna slide our axles back, but I'm gonna show you guys what we have in the trailer before we deliver here. Air fresheners. Smells hella good back here. All right, you guys, it's Thursday morning. About 6, 20 a.m. Ooh, it's foggy. We're still here at uh, Winco Foods. We had an appointment last night at 12, and now it's 6. All right, you guys. I just paid through Capstone. It was two hundred and five dollars, two oh five. Now we're gonna go inside and see if we get our paperwork. So two hundred and five dollars for the lumber fee. Sent back one cause damage. Oh no! Hopefully it's not in the back of the trailer. Let's go look. All right, let's slide these forward. But hopefully there's nothing back here. Oh, there's this. Holy shit. Man, they made it worse by just leaving it there. What the heck? Especially having it tilt like that. So I'm in here sweeping my trailer, right? There's another spill back here. 
that I didn't see earlier because it was way back here. Thinking it was a, and because it was a little dark, so now I gotta clean this up. Man. All right, you guys. Well, some more problems. So I guess this load that we were supposed to pick up here in uh, Junction City, Oregon, uh, it got canceled. So my appointment was at one, it's 11 a.m. and they the place just called me. The shipper called me and said, uh, yeah, this load's canceled. We don't have the product ready. We only got like less than half ready. So we're just gonna have to cancel it. So they said they let the customer know and I had to let the broker know. So I called the broker right now and uh, yeah, she, she confirmed it. She said, yeah, it's canceled and they barely told us. So I asked them for the tow new. I asked them how much they were gonna pay and I don't think she really knew. So she was gonna email me something. So we're just waiting on that. We're looking for loads cause I didn't wanna go back home cause the rates are pretty cheap going back home. So I wanted to do another load going from this side of Oregon, Oregon going to the uh, east side of Oregon. Cause they were paying pretty good. Like the rate per mile was damn near almost $4 per mile. And uh, going back home is barely two if you get lucky at least on the load board right now. So, and there's barely any loads out there. So I pretty much had to look for a load, found a little, it's not, it's not paying really good at all, but at least it gets me back home and pays for fuel. I mean, it's better than going back home empty or staying here another night in Oregon. And I don't want to do that, it's just a waste of money. So we got, we're working on this load right now. I've just filled out the carrier packet and um, yeah, it picks up in Eugene, Oregon, which is 20 minutes away from me, 20, 30 minutes away from me right now. So it's a load of lumber going to Modesto, California. Uh, it's delivering Monday, but I think I can deliver tomorrow if I can make it before 1 p.m. So I'm going to just ask the broker if I can make it Friday, can I deliver? Because today's Thursday. And if they say, yeah, I'm going to try to aim for it. But if not, then I'll just deliver Monday morning at 7 a.m. No biggie. So yeah man i mean it is what it is can't stress about it once you've been doing trucking for a, a couple of years you're just like ah whatever as long as i'm getting a paid hopefully i get like 200 dollars off the tow new 150 because i think that's how much they usually pay but i'm not sure so we'll see what happens i'll let you guys know though oh well, i guess since we're not picking up here we'll close the doors <laughs> We're here at Emerald Forest Products. We're here to pick up lumber. It's my first time here. I have no idea where I'm going. Let's see, let's see. Man, I almost thought this load wasn't gonna pick up today either. I guess the pickup number that I gave them wasn't working, so they had to talk to some people, but we ended up getting, uh, getting it figured out, so. We're gonna go ahead and open our doors and then back up into there. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here getting loaded in Eugene, Oregon. But I wanted to explain to you guys what what, uh, what a TONU is, T-O-N-U. And it's a truck order, truck ordered, not used. So I got $150 for that. So it's something, but yeah, let's just get loaded here and start heading back home. All right, so the loader guy said uh, you should go weigh your truck because I don't know how much you might be heavy. And I was like, well, how much does this load weigh? He's like, that's he's like, that's why I'm telling you to go because I, I have no idea. I was like, oh, shit, more problems. So I'm kind of expecting to be heavy. Hopefully not. Oh, I just don't need this. So many problems today. Let's see, though. I'm going to use the app and see what happens. Ah! Just kidding. All right, yeah, the guy was right. We are heavy, but we're good. We were just 400 pounds over on our uh, trailer axles. I just slid, uh, slid it over one hole. Slid that axle uh, back one hole, yeah. So that should take off like two to 400. I forgot exactly how much each uh, hole takes off. But uh, yeah, we should be good though. Uh, we're at, it is a heavy load. We're at 78,500. So, damn near 80,000 pounds to the max capacity. So, let's go to California that way. 
All right, you guys, we just got to the yard. Um, there she is right there. It's about 10 p.m. and we're about to uh, go home, sleep, shower, eat something good, hopefully. And um, yeah, tomorrow we got to deliver this load to Modesto, which is uh, two hours away from me. So quick and easy. We'll do that. Maybe we'll try to get a load coming back. I don't know yet, maybe not. But I did notice something on the truck. I think the some I think it's leaking oil somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna look at it more tomorrow in the morning. I'm just tired right now, but I think it's something bad to be honest. So yeah. Something's leaking. Don't know what it is though. See how wet it is all over here? Down there. Yo, yo, what's up? It's Friday morning, 8.45 a.m. It's a beautiful day, even though I got that problem going on. Something's leaking. I mean, it's not leaking because there's nothing on the ground. There's like no spots on the ground. It's just uh, Everything seems to be wet down there So maybe it's not that bad yet. I Think it's gonna get worse though. So I just have to try to deliver this load to Modesto and then come back and uh, take it to the shop and Hopefully uh, they can fix it. Hopefully it's nothing too big and thankfully I caught it before it got even worse. So let's just hope nothing bad happens to where I have to tow the truck. Hopefully I can just deliver this load and then get back safely. So let's go. Here, I'm about to go check in and see where I need to go. Yep, we're just gonna wait here. The guy said they're gonna be off a lunch break in 15 minutes, so let's just wait. All right, you guys, it's 12 o'clock. We're getting unloaded. Let's see how long it takes them. And then after this, we can close our doors and we can end the video. All right, you guys, we're all unloaded. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, see you guys on the next one. You guys don't believe me? There you go. Peace out.